I'm thinking back to an occasion about four years after I reunited with college football in the SEC. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife, Nancy, who's been with me every game this year, and I would say 80% of the college games we've done in the SEC, mm -hmm. was standing by my side at halftime of the Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa. And I'm a sucker for pageantry. Right. And I'm also a sucker for history, and I love tradition. So all of those elements go into the reason why college football is so important in our lives. Right. And we were standing there, and it was just so neat. A uh, beautiful day, much like we had at the Iron Bowl this year. And I put my arm around her waist, and I said, okay, tell me honestly, would you rather be here or doing Cincinnati and Detroit tomorrow? <laughs> that sums it up. I do think it continues to promote the ideals that we were all hopefully taught when we were kids. Mm -hmm. And that is, I mean, get along with others. Uh, the team concept should go above the personal concept. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you can have excellent results if you coordinate your effort with those around you. Uh, all of those, all of those things. As I said, they're almost cliches, but they are because they're essential truth. There, Tim Tebow. Uh, I know he didn't have success in the NFL, but he will remain on my top five list of most outstanding college players I have ever seen. We did a total of 23 Tim games while he was at Florida. So as much as a man in his 70s can know a kid in his 20s, yeah. I think I know Tim. Yeah. And what I know about him is that he is one of the finest guys I've ever met. He's also one of the most competitive people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. And that served him very well.